at 31, I had a question coming out of section 2.7, and we've got number 49, and here we were asked to take this interval and write it in set builder notation. So if I want to think about this interval here, I would have my x-axis, right, and I'm going basically from negative 3 to 5, and I've got a closed dot here because I have that, and let me, let me erase this right thing that thing right there but I have a closed dot because of the bracket and then I have an open dot because of the parentheses and basically I want to shade all of the numbers in here if I wanted to write it as an inequality I would say negative 3 less than or equal to x less than 5 and that is really the basis for set builder notation so all set builder notation is saying it's just this fancy way of writing it but we, we take that interval and what we're trying to say is that if this is the x-axis any x value in between these two numbers, inclusive on this end, exclusive on this end, is legit. And that's what set builder notation is saying. So if we were going to say this out loud, we would say that little squiggles there. We would say the set of all. That's what that means. And then this is telling us the set of all x. And then this vertical bar is the word such that. So we're saying that, hey, if this is my interval, it's really the set of all x values such that x is less than 3, excuse me, x is between, I should say, negative 3 inclusive and 5 exclusive. And so that's, that's set builder notation. So for example, if I wanted to just do a different interval, let's say I wanted to go from like 1 to 18, right, and we had an open dot here and a closed dot here, I would say this was the set of all x such that 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 18. And that's set builder notation. We use it a lot um, in upper division math, which is what you're on your way to. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.